so random, you're gonna scare me. Like, <laughs> so here we, here we go into our first game. Um, let's see, we're going around PS2, very Yoshi favorite stage, of course. Uh, there's a lot of zoning, pot zoning potential towards uh, towards Zoshi, just for like egg throw and things like that. So, mostly just a skirmish to see who's gonna get center stage control. That's the biggest thing in this uh, in this matchup. Who is getting center stage control? And I think it's gonna have to start with with Suarez, of course. Yeah, and one thing is that Yoshi, he basically doesn't need to directionally air dodge. His aerial mobility is so good that he can neutral air dodge and it basically just places him as, as much, which means he can land, let sort of land onto the ground with very little lag comparatively. As you see right there, air dodges mm -hmm. to the platform and only has a few frames that he needs to worry about. I'm very curious that switching to the pyro right here. Like I was going to say, we just switched to pyro quite early on in the match. I mean, only, only 72%. Not too too hard to deal with as Mithra, but I think we are in fact opting for Pyra's um, stronger attacks rather than and sacrificing unfortunately Mithra's speed in order to do that. So here we go. Blazing Pyra. edge, actually. That's really putting in work. Mm -hmm. It shuts down Suarez trying to approach from the front. Oh, and look at that. That, that trade. Was, yeah, that trade. Oh my goodness. Just down there and, and trading with uh, with Yoshi. Kind of working out for Josh Justin really, really well. And now we have Myth uh, Pyra taking Great control of center stage was what she wants, of course. And like you were saying, Blazing End, very, very adept at the, at the very middle of the stage to keep Yoshi away, just like that in shield. Oh, the switching Mithra. to Mithra now. I kind of like that. You're not going to present where up smash can kill. Oh, but the sick wave bounce. That's going to be solid damage. How is he actually going to get the kill right here? I, on most parts of stage, back air is not going to do it. Mm -mm, absolutely not. Dash attack leaving Yoshi off into in the air. Now, what can Pyro do in this situation? Unfortunately, not Eto is not, not going to be taking it anytime soon. And Blazing End is waiting it out. Neutral getting up to, to the, for the iframes. And that's uh, advantage. Just double jumping out of the corner, especially against. There it is. Oh, yeah, it was just a little bit too, like, little bit too ambiguous with his movement. And that, yeah, the up just did not actually connect. We now have Suarez at 169. Okay. Yeah, this is huge. Now we have Yoshi with with one with rage, and two we have Yoshi who is now taking control of the center stage and actually reading all of your, your all of your movement options. Now you're are you stuck in the air? No, you're not. You're back on stage, and there's finally that of the taking that first dog off of Suarez. You are extremely dead from that. He was you're at so 160. Dead. Yeah. You're dead. Um, but now kind of forced to go Mithra just to rack off that lower that percent of these uh, lower ranges. Ooh, but that means he's also a little bit lighter. Might be dying if he's not careful. Yoshi does have things like forward air to up smash, forward air to up air. He's looking for forward air right now. You mm -hmm. see it. Oh, he you wants it. it. He wants it so bad. And there's an egg throw up into the air. We can actually contest someone's recovery options like Mithra. Oh, but not getting the drop, unfortunately, for him. Now we're switching over the pyro. 147% to our name. Can we recover safely? Of course. Two blazing Novas. One promise revolt and back on stage we are on ledge as well. Blazing and can be doing work right now and of course up tilt as well. Could have maybe closed the distance right there, but I think really wanted to respect the big hitbox on Blazing Edge. Mm -hmm. yeah, and of course Josh and Gamer had to of course walk backwards because well, Swordless Pyra is pretty useless and, and of course punishable Pyra as well. Both characters like uh, once again squirming to, to control center stage. And you know. I think it's going to be what Josh is really going to be wanting in order to close out Good that 100% that gap we have. <clears throat> Forward throw is not enough to actually... It's never going to be enough to nice. kill. And neutral air reversing. That's actually really bad for Suarez. It means that now he's the one trapped in the corner. Oh, Pyra's back in the driver's seat. Yep, so Pyra with raise. And there... Oh, no. There's the trade. And then, unfortunately, uh, Josh is getting that sock taken away from him. Yeah, oh, that's so rising down air like that, going to fall up down air. If the opponent jumps Beautiful. without doing anything, you take tons of damage. But wow, yeah, huge conversion. Suarez, it felt like he might put up a massive lead, but that was stopped short in its tracks. And Joshathan, mm -hmm. this is not even, not yet, but no, definitely in not. a much better position. Yeah, he you're has absolutely right. Um, Joshathan being in a, in a disadvantage, disadvantage situation, percentage wise, position wise. Things that you're looking for as Mithra are just not coming out because of Yoshi's uh, abilities as a character. Of course, we have John, we have uh, Suarez in center stage and using egg, uh, egg throw as often as he can to really maintain mid stage distance and close in whenever he can. Okay. Oh, he does. I don't know if he touched the ground. Just have a jump. Oh, if, I don't think Joshua then recognized that. If he did, he definitely could have gone for the finishing, killing blow. Oh, doesn't opt to oh, actually. Wow. What was that? He could have at least, I think, grabbed out of shield at that range. Yeah, I agree. Very, very, uh, 
weird option that Sora took, but unfortunately, he's still in a very pretty good state. And, uh, you know, shooting through Blazing End is a really good option as Yoshi, but unfortunately, I get anything pun I need to punish off of the Pyra. Oh, oh no! I think he was really, really expecting Suarez to commit right there, and that would have gotten the turnaround. I'm yeah. pretty sure it would have killed first, correct? Uh, I want to say it would have killed first. Um, who, who, who punches that? 196 and 186. Oh no, I think Power would have died first just because uh. of how fast. The higher percentage, of course, the faster your knockback. So I think he would have been down first. Yeah, and you saw that actually the reel back from forward, the forward air. He, because he reeled himself back. If he was going straight, his nose might have been close enough to actually get his clipped nose, by it. His nose hair box, which has been hit. You gotta be nagging. I, I think also at some point, I think he also might have thought he was closer to the stage and could have drifted a little bit back to ledge, but unfortunately just a lot of mistiming and misspacing uh, oh. apparent in Josh Finn's game plan. But hopefully the second game will be a little bit of a lesson in using what we learned in game one to bring it back for game two and take it take us to take us to game five, guys. Come on. And I love the use of Eggle. Eggle is kind of Yoshi's only disjoint because his yes. tongue doesn't have a hitbox on it. We've already seen that it's a range that is actually kind of just outside of where uh, Joshathan wants to be. And he's gotten so many Eggle's so far. Oh, yeah, he was expecting a shield drop, but a really clutch spot dodge actually puts Joshathan in a position with stage mm -hmm. control. See what he can do with it. Oh! Fortnite's not getting anything off of it. Unfortunately, there is that dip blazing end once more, getting more damage off of him on Suarez. And are we going to be seeing an edgeguard situation? Oh, we are a little bit of a trade in, indeed, but we are getting the position we are looking for as Pyra. Oh, the patience. <gasps> oh, you're Stop dead. It. He's no invincibility. Oh, no, he did. Oh, wow. okay. You're okay. Fine. Your hands are magnetic. I see that. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, no, Yoshi can recover from quite low, mm -hmm. uh, but he has to use air dodge, so if you know the timings, he can. He should be dead, you know what I mean? And finally, Josh Thing getting a solid lead, you know, 103% is, is pretty good if you are able to keep yourself at a uh, at a more advantage state and positioning, which we are right now. Josh and the Gamer are using the up B and uh, to come back on stage one safely and to make Suarez get more percentage on him. This is, the, this is the first time we've seen Josh Thing with a stock lead. And the sword characters especially, because now he can sit on Mithra. He can sit on Mithra and get tons of damage, but really good stuff from Suarez going for the chase down and getting that stock means that he does not have to worry about things really escalating beyond his control. The biggest thing about Foresight is just that it's just a game changer for Mithra. You can be a complete advantage and then you turn it and convert it into your own advantage state, which we just saw with the upbeat uh, out of the, uh, the Foresight. But here we go, down there and Swords off on stage and once again, giving Josh then the position that he is looking for on the platform, on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's once more, that uh, the tongue coming in. Oh, I the like that. Leg. Pausing for just a second, making sure that Suarez was going to stay in shield before he dashes in for that grab. There's forward throw off on ledge. I I'm loving that Jonathan it Justin is able to get his positioning very, very precise, like, you know, pretty consistently throughout, but unfortunately not able to really use to his advantage. Of course, now here is Suarez on ledge, looking looking for that forward air spike hitbox. I saw that. Yeah, but a really smart side B, Jonathan now back on stage. The up air, up just air? the rising up air. Yeah. I I don't. I can't believe he got that read. The up smash is gonna, you know, even things up really quickly. But think about that. He just ran right into him. He wasn't putting a button. That's why that up air connected. Mm -hmm. And also the biggest thing about Yoshi up air is it's just, it's just a really good way to cover someone's distance just because it's a, a slight swooping motion as well. Also, it like hits behind him. Yes, it does. I see that a few times. I'm just like, hmm. I love the smash hitboxes. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like if you are in front of Yoshi, you have to worry about neutral air. If you're behind him, mm -hmm. you have to worry about uh, back air. You have to worry about air. up air. Yeah. But here we go once more. Uh, pretty much almost an even game if you really want to think about it. If, uh, if Sora is able to kind of close up this gap, but he has to come back on stage a little more safely with these egg throws coming in clutch and avoiding the blazing and thinking. But that is definitely a true down air into up into up tilt. Oh, at a high percentage as well. Oh, that's over. Yeah. So we do have Jocelyn getting a game on the board, 1-1 one, one currently, and things <clears throat> things developing very interestingly. Now there are a couple of bits and pieces worth mentioning. So, oh wow, he actually tried to up air him right there and got like just beaten by the up tilt. But Suarez is getting a lot of eggs on the ledge, like he is recovering and the egg lands like right there, you know, and those are really good because they hit and they pop up right onto the platform. There were at least two times that I can count where uh, 
Josh then got hit by an egg, missed the tech on the platform, and not only did that let Yoshi get back onto the stage, that also let him go for a tech chase, and I know he got at least one kill off of that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Here we go. We're going into our game three of the set. I, I think it's going to go to game five because both of them really want it. And they're both playing phenomenally whenever they are, of course, in their advantage state as their respective characters. Once again, going with Yoshi and Mithra uh, Pyra on small battlefield, rather. I see. Interesting. I guess wanted just a little bit less mm -hmm. space. I, I, this might have just been a comfort pick. I don't necessarily know... What? Because I feel like you might want to actually have a little bit wider of a stage that when you get hit, you're not automatically put in the corner. Yeah. But we'll see how it works out for Suarez. Hopefully it's, it's, it's working a little bit it, it more in Justin's favor just for his first few seconds of the game uh, that we just started. So on Battlefield, of course, being a smaller version of PS2 with a very equal uh, blast zone uh, you know, distances. And again, you have nowhere really to run to as you would on PS2. Very, very zoner-friendly stage of uh, PS2. Oh, what was that F tilt? <laughs> Jonathan was way out of range and he gets punished with the forward tilt himself. This is Bissup. Oh, he DI'd in on that because he was expecting the forward throw and that almost led into a follow up. But, all right, good damage from the eggs. Yeah, eggs are doing very well. Uh, kind of like the, the equivalent of Blazing N in, uh, for, you know, power just to maintain mid stage distance. And once again, there it is. Once again, just maintaining a lot of mid range. Um, play for Pyra and honestly both characters with both of their uh, reflective projectiles, quote unquote. But Jonathan once again taking control of center stage. Just a little, a little bit too mm -hmm. stealth to actually kill there. And okay, this is what that's what I was talking about with getting popped up onto that platform. Again, landing and oh wow, nice. he didn't get hit by the up smash. That might have oh. been some weird hurt box shifting. I feel like that would have connected. And we'll be able to see the replay in a little bit once we get Josh Lynn back to a more even looking game. And honestly, not too hard to do with As Pyra down there, not taking it, not even able to frame the recovery, but that instead will for be taking it and nah. we're doing some turbo drifting as well. Yeah, so you know, a little bit of a celebration, but here we go. Oh, it's huge punish. What a yes. Read. Yes. He got out of dodge so quickly, and that led to some solid percent. 71 right now on Joshathan. And once again, Nithra being slightly lighter. That almost killed. I'm telling you, that almost, I could have killed like, on the, the, the possibly a different stage up on the center stage as well, but not getting anything off of, off of the down the down tilt. But we are getting that forward air off into the side of the blast zone. Uh, Suarez chilling with almost 0% to his name, and Jonathan has to do a little bit more. Forest side coming in clutch finally to uh, maybe convert some more percentage into his favor. Unfortunately, no tech rolling out, and of course, jo Suarez is reading that, and now we're maintaining yeah. a more simple distance, avoiding the tongue into, uh, you know, egg lay. What? Oh! Wait, you... What? There Was there a jump used? I, I don't know where it would have... I guess maybe he got his... I don't even know how his jump... He must have jumped and then hit a button. Because he jumped and then hit down me! All right, get... Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, he brought it back. <laughs> yeah, I actually... I was, I was so confused by the last play that... Uh, I missed the entire stock disappearing right there. No, it's okay, because we, we have a really quick replay over here. We can see uh, what happened with, with Suarez's second stock. Um, but this is the last stock right here. Here's where we just saw Suarez clean up his act a little bit after that SD, oh, and well, there I it mean, is, just forward. Just sometimes, goofy. sometimes you get a bad read. Stop, I will right say here. that Suarez is... He's going for a lot more hard reads in yes. this game. It means he's getting more kills. He's getting earlier kills. So, but uh, there's also a lot of inherent risk to doing something like that. Yeah. So he downbeat right at that platform, got hit out of it, but he jumped downbeat was the thing. Yes. Really unfortunate situation for Suarez, but thank thankfully took it back for a second game in favor of him. We are now two one in favor of Suarez. This could possibly be Jonathan, Jonathan's last winner's uh, game. Yeah, and he does not want that to be the case instantly. 54% dealt onto, uh, oh, man, the spot dodge reads from Suarez. Okay, mm -hmm. but not really getting much more than that. Oh, he's, he's reading so many spot dodges right now. Not punishing all of them, but he is calling out so many of them. Yeah, you're right, because the biggest thing about Mithra is that when she spot dodges, she has a chance of getting foresight with each spot dodge she gets. And, you know, if you're able to you know, really count the, the, the chances of doing that, oh, you can absolutely read whenever Mithra's going to just spot dodge or even roll. So here we go. Whoa! Oh upper. my god! Well, hello? Where, you, where were you going? How did how did he almost die? How did where that trade almost kill him? He was at, like, 50. <laughs> I think just how far he was in the air, you know? 
Yeah. Just, the Blast Emerald is only going to suck you right in. But either way, we're back over here. Uh, Soarers, once again, three stocks, 87%. Not too not too shabby, not shabby whatsoever. Here we go. Once more, Blazing and coming in to reset some uh, some positioning. But Josh then once again, fumbling the positioning that he got on the ledge. Blazing and coming out once more. It's doing wonders for him, these, this entire set. And Suarez has been recognizing that uh, Dustin has been coming down with ooh okay, uh, coming down with aerials a lot, and now he's just in when he's in advantage, just runs up shield, and the misspaced aerials are getting punished here. Absolutely oh, right. Drag him nice. down. Yeah. Interesting prominence for both in the right there. Like trying to break a shield, possibly, but just opted to go. Uh, unfortunately, he just got on the platform, and now there's a huge punish, and Suarez is almost gonna run away with his second stock if he's able to continue these shell smashes. Oh, that no. was great. Nice. That was he very waited good. out. He waited so long. I don't know if uh, he might have he either hit a button or just the double jump armor ran out. But if he had probed the trigger even just a hair sooner, he would have armored it and just been fine. Mm -hmm. These, these forward air reads, he's like, got either reading a spot dodge or he's going for a deep forward air, like sort of overshooting, and it just works out. Oh, yeah. that's one thing about eggs. Yoshi eggs basically force the get-up timing, and it makes it so much easier for Yoshi to actually keep people trapped at the ledge. Yeah, oh my right. god, you did? It's a forward smash, and look at the, the, the slight pop-up in the player camp for Jonathan, but there is, yeah. we're returning the favor, and we're back at one stock each. <laughs> Possibly Jonathan's, Jonathan's last winner stock. Rapid jab, not doing anything for uh, Jonathan. Thankfully, you know, rolling away from the, from the situation into another egg blade. Yep. Two of them. Really and what can that, we do in the ledge here? That's a, like, Yoshi grabbing out of the corner it works surprisingly well because it's a, people like to be at that range and they forget that he has a grab. <laughs> You know, now Josh, Josh has been opting to go for a lot more aerial uh, attacks against Yoshi. And Yoshi is so good grounded. The option covers no jump. Down no smash jump. goes there for down tilt. That's it. <gasps> That's it. Recognizing that he had no jump, opting for a uh, the down tilt. And unfortunately, side being a little bit too low from where the ledge actually is. Yeah. You can see it right here. We're going over side beyond ledge, down tilt. And there it is. You are not ledge grabbing that. So fu I can't I can't <laughs> the way that Mitha just falls is is so dramatic. Yeah. It's so <laughs> dramatic. Oh. What was that? Yeah, that trade was intense because that, was, that I, almost could have. It really could have taken that stock okay. so early. Okay, I mean, I, we, he also got a kill at like forty, and That's it true. didn't. That's true. It's more <laughs> still one. I like how we managed to get two kills within a single clip. It's always nice and convenient when that happens. So convenient for our yeah, production Yeah, I'm surprised crew. he didn't. I mean. Didn't go for down smash. Down smash also very fast. Yeah, look at that. Just somehow nope. not close enough. Mm -hmm. He could have drifted an upbeat, right? He would have made it back if he did that. Drifted, um... Like, drifted oh. forward, I mean. Like, if instead of hitting side B at that point, if he just drifted and then upbeat. I feel like he wasn't, like, he wasn't checkmated at that point. I think because right with... I think during, like, the end lag of being, like, you know, hit it, that's where he had the ability to start actually um, side being, and at that moment you were already too low, I think. Yeah. So, uh, well, so good, great recognition that down tilt mm -hmm. was the answer. It's quicker, and it was just enough distance to get.